woman and call right. her his wife, right? Amen. Amen. There's nothing wrong with that. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible said that Hannah's womb was shut up. Oh. Yeah. And it was not just shut up in a physical manner. It was shut up because that was a part of God's plan. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But, but, but Hannah didn't know that. Sometimes your life is going through some stage. And you don't understand it. And people even get up and walk out of church because some things are not happening for them. Can I preach you? But Hannah did not give up. She only had the opportunity to go to the temple once a year. But every time she went up, she would go up to God with her prayer. Oh, hallelujah. She did not just go to church just for the priest to see her. She went up to the temple because she had a need. And when she prayed, she didn't just make some vain repetition, but she prayed and believed that God would hear and answer her prayer. Oh, bless God. So she went up, and every time she went up, the other wife, Penina, am I right? Yeah. Something burning in the back there? No. Or somewhere? Oh, bless God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. The Lord. Penina would mock her. Penina would ridicule her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because she had no child. I want you to understand that even today's time when a woman recognizes that she's of a certain age, and whether she's married or unmarried, or oh bless God, she wants to have a child. Amen. And the word of God says when you have a male child, that male child blesses the womb. Yes. Oh praise God. Yes. Oh bless God. Amen. So Hannah recognized that she had a situation. And she realized that time was catching upon her. And she couldn't. She couldn't deal with the market much more. So every time she went up to the temple, she would talk to God. The Bible said she went up to the temple. And in her sorrow, she cried out to God. And the Bible said she spoke to God in her heart. But her lips move. Sometimes you are speaking too much to others and not to God. And when you're going through your situation, you need to bring it to God. When you find yourself at the end of the rope, oh God Almighty, you need to bring your situation to God because He will hear you and He will answer. He is not a God that will lie. He said, if He said it, go on going to be your day, then today is your day. Yes. And mind you, Hannah in her praying, she told God exactly what she wanted. Oh, praise God. She didn't beat around the most for her hands and build up mountains and want this and want that and want the world. Oh, bless God, even when she was in sorrow and she wouldn't eat, her husband said, Listen, lady, am I not better to you than a hundred sons? Hallelujah. Hello? I know you have no, I know you don't have no sons and it's not try, we don't try. But listen, you need to change that sorrowful look from off your face. I can be better. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. But she still kept on praying. 
to God. And in her praying, she didn't only pray, but she believed God. Some of y'all are praying as if God is a man. And instead of some of y'all praying, you're bringing your trouble and your things to other people. And next thing you know, they can tell somebody else. And that's why when Hannah went up to the temple, you know, let me tell the people of God, she was talking to God in her heart. But nobody could hear what she was saying. Because sometimes even church people take your prayer and go tell other people. They do not come to worship God. They just come to hear what you come with. Yes, Lord. And so as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And sometimes when you come to God and you kneel down on the altar, even the pastor or bishops or officers will not understand what you are going through. But keep on pouring out your grief to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So it's not every time somebody come and cry, I wonder where you're crying for. But don't stop crying. Because God knows every tear. God knows every pain you feel. God knows every sorrow you bear. And I hear somebody says, There is not a friend like the lovely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Hallelujah. So Hannah went up to pray. And in the temple, my God, the Bible said that Eli was sitting on a stool. And when she, when he saw the woman, her lips were moving, but he heard no words. He said, woman, put thy wine away from thee. The woman with all respect, she didn't walk out. Oh my God, she didn't get rude, but with all respect. She answered the priest, Oh priest Eli, I am not drunk, but I'm a woman full of sorrow. When you have your sorrow, come to Jesus. He is the altar and he's the finisher of all faith. Whatever it is that you come to him with, he will answer. Sir, yes. I'm sorrowful.